All right, I'm Nick Carpenter from the Legion of Loan Officers. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one of the number one ad templates that's working for loan officers and mortgage brokers all over the country in America today inside the Legion of Loan Officers to generate exclusive home buyer leads on Facebook and Instagram. And we have a similar template on YouTube, but obviously that's a video and I can't really get into all that today. So I'm gonna show you the actual Facebook ad template that's crushing it for us in every market around the country. We're gonna talk about why it works, how you can copy it, and what you need to know in order to go and start generating your own Facebook leads. I'm a huge proponent of running Facebook ads using houses. Um, there's obviously tons of ways to generate mortgage leads and real estate leads on Facebook today. And this is just one of the processes that we use inside the Legion of Loan Officers to help mortgage brokers be able to run their own Facebook ads. Okay, so this is actually one of the very first templates and, and Facebook campaigns that we teach inside of our boot camp as people come in the Legion. So a couple reasons this works really, really well. And hopefully this makes sense here. I'm going to just kind of show you this is a house photo. You know, so here's like a chimney, I'll put a tree over here, a tree over here, and some grass and stuff. Okay, so let's talk about what this template is, what, what does all these squiggly lines even mean, and how can you take this template and actually do something with it uh, in your own mortgage business, all right? Because obviously I, I understand that that's your goal of being here right now and watching this video. Okay, so number one is what fan page do we run this from, okay? People will ask us that all the time, right? Fan page. So personally, I run this ad right here from an unbranded page. Now, it doesn't mean that, so does that mean, oh, do Facebook ads, Facebook ads must not work from mortgage pages. Definitely not true. Facebook ads totally work from a mortgage page. But you gotta put yourself in the mind of a consumer, right? I mean, if I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm scrolling through Facebook and I come across the house for sale ad on a mortgage page, that doesn't make any sense, right? And knowing that it doesn't make any sense, why would you wanna do that and then put that in front of the consumer when that's the reaction that they're gonna have? You have to put that in your head already, like, oh, I'm gonna put this ad in front of them that makes sense to the consumer. Now, you could obviously, so if we know that a mortgage page doesn't work here, what's the option number two? Option number two is you can use a real estate branded page, okay? Now, obviously, if you run that from a realtor page, that will work, right? Realtor page, running a house ad, that makes more sense to a consumer. It's gonna feel more natural when it's coming through the feed and you're gonna be more likely to actually get leads off of that house when it's running from a realtor, um, from a realtor page. Now, option number three is you can run it from an unbranded page, okay? So you can create some sort of community-based page, you know, I love Charlotte, North Carolina or whatever, and, and you can be able to run it from some sort of you know, consumer facing page where it's not promoting any brand up front. All the brand promotion gets done in the retargeting. If you're not familiar with that, go back and watch the last video that we put about how to win in 2020 and, and how to do those retargeting layers. But here we've had the best success inside the Legion using unbranded community based pages for the initial Facebook ad, right? And then behind the ad, you're doing retargeting where you introduce the loan officer, you introduce the realtor. So it's not like they never know who these people are. We definitely introduce them to the people. It just happens after they see this initial first ad, right? So this fan page up front, it's running from some sort of community facing page, okay? Now, it basically just has five parts, okay? So we're gonna call this part one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so real simple, five parts. You can totally do this really, really easy, okay? So number one is we have an attention line, all right? So this line right here is completely designed to create attention, all right? Now, how do we get attention on Facebook? Okay, one way to think about this is you have to have a thumb stopper, all right? What does a thumb stopper mean to you? I don't know, it's, it could be different than what it means to me, but I know that you have to be able to get people to stop and actually read and engage with the ad and see, does this, is this ad about me? Is this ad for me? Or should I continue to scroll past? And that's what I'm looking for this initial ad, initial line of text to do on my ad, right? Is to get their attention. I do that by using some emojis. You'll see I put the house emojis on the side. You know, that's one that I use. The fire emoji. There's some different ones that will get attention, right? 
and kind of stand out. And then here, I'm just trying to call out what it is that we're doing, you know? Is this a house for sale, right? I might call it like just, just listed for sale in, in Charlotte, um, best deal for sale in Charlotte, you know, I might call it something like that, right? And you just want them to see. Now, obviously with this line, the goal is if somebody stops and reads that line and they're not interested in a house for sale, they're not interested in a house for sale in Charlotte, now they're gonna, they can be like, oh, this isn't for me, next, right? But the people that are like, ooh, I am kind of interested in houses for sale in Charlotte, they can stop and actually take in this ad, you know? So now what we want to do is, we, so this first line right here is really their attention, attention line. This next line right here, number two, is their interest, okay? So how do we get interest? Well, in the case of a property, we share some information about the property, right? Like, hey, it's a three-bedroom house with this feature and this feature, you know? And we sort of tell people about the, about the actual house and what we have going on here. So that if somebody's like, well, I need five bedrooms and this is only a three-bedroom, they don't need to click on the ad, right? They know that up front. The only thing that we don't tell people is we never tell them about the price, okay? We just give them a few details. I like to imagine that I'm like going to one of my new, my guy friend's houses, he gets a new house, and I'm going over there and I'm a mad, and I'm just walking through and I'm like, yo, this is, yo, this is a huge living room. This is a huge bathroom, whatever thing, right? Nobody's gonna say, man, this is a spacious floor plan. This is an open concept floor plan, right? It's like realtors talk like that, not regular people. So you have to be willing on this line here, share some details about the house, but say it in a regular, in a regular way, right? You don't have to say it in some sort of fancy realtor talk. So now we've caught their interest. We're getting, we've caught their attention. We're working on getting their interest. All right, line number three, this right here is gonna be for me, a fear of missing out line. All right, so what is fear of missing out? The short code is FOMO, right? If you ever get into marketing and you hear people talking about FOMO, right? If you wanna create some FOMO. Well, yeah, totally, it's like that fear of missing out, you know I mean? You think about like concerts and festivals and some of these places are epic. FOMO, by showing how great the events are and stuff, you know? Um, in our case, fear of missing out would be, we want them to think about this particular feature or something that they're gonna see inside the house that they really wanna see, right? So that could be about, you know, you gotta check out this kitchen or man, this backyard is epic, right? Or any of those kind of things where we just wanna create some sort of statement here where somebody's like, oh, I really wanna see that house. Oh, I really wanna see that feature. You know, I really wanna see that fireplace. I really wanna see that kitchen and they want to click the button and take action just simply because this line on number three is making them feel like if they don't see it, they're missing out, right? They're going to wonder later today, man, like, oh man, I wonder what that, what that big, big master bathroom really was like, you know, they're going to wonder those kind of things to themselves. That's fear of missing out. Okay. All right. Step number four is you got to have an amazing photo. All right. So what makes an amazing photo for Facebook? It's a photo that has color contrast, all right? It needs to pop, right? It needs to have some pop to it. It can't be like real monotone colors. It needs to be some bright colors, you know, beautiful blue sky, green grass, red brick, flowers, nice colorful flowers. I don't know, right? You know what I'm saying, but it has to, has to have some pop to it. It can't just be a flat iPhone photo. You know what I'm saying? Like it can't be like a realtor took it from inside their car while they drove by. This has to be a really high quality photo. It's gonna make all the difference. This photo probably determines 50% or more of your ad cost, right? Because if it's a crappy photo, people are, are, not, are gonna just scroll by naturally. If it's a great photo, people are gonna stop and take heed of your text and decide if it's for them or not. So it has to be some connection, you know, between having a great photo, having great text. All right, so that's number four, having an amazing photo. All right, number five, and the last concept for, for this ad that's working really well for us is with the headline, you know? So the headline below the, so below the photo, if you're running it as a lead form ad or you're running it as a traffic ad or conversion ad on Facebook, obviously, uh, you know, start with lead forms, right? It's a really simple way to get started with Facebook ads. And you get a chance to put a headline. Now, what do you wanna put on the headline? To me, I wanna reinforce the click, okay? So what do I mean by that? I've already up here, got their attention, created some interest, and gave them a fear of missing out statement, right? Now what I wanna do is here is I wanna tell them, I wanna remind them what value they're gonna get if they click through and actually take the action, right? So I wanna tell them here, you're gonna to get to see all the pictures, you're gonna to get to see the inside of the house, right? That kind of stuff where they know 
When they click that button, what are they, what's their value? What's the benefit to them in the end for doing this, okay? Because we want to create this headline to be so compelling that when they pop that button open and they have to, they realize they're going to give us all their information, they're not just going to the house. We want this ad to work, okay? So today, this ad right here, we're averaging anywhere from a 20 to 30% conversion rate using Facebook lead forms to lead, right? So 20% of the people that see this ad, click that button, fill out the form and go to the next page, right? End up on our thank you page and we get them as a lead. So, you know, it's about one out of every five people that feel that, that see the ad, that click the button, actually become a lead. And that's why having those retargeting layers. And again, go back and look at the last videos. If you're not familiar with retargeting, we talked about that some on the other channel content. And that's why it's really important to have that in place because now you can go back and target everybody that engaged with this ad on any level and continually show yourself and show your realtors to those folks. So this template right here, you know, I'd love to hear if you've tried a template like this or what's been your results with Facebook ads. L leave a comment down below and let me know, you know, what was the most successful campaign you ever ran? What were your results from that Facebook campaign? Or if you have some sort of horror story, let me know your horror story in the comments as well and we'll see what we can do to fix you up. You know, if you like this kind of content, you're a loan officer, a broker, number one, subscribe to the channel, right? We're putting out content every week and we're gonna help you grow your mortgage business through the videos that are on this channel. Um, if you like it, also share with your friends. If you know some people that would also find value, I'd be honored for you to share the content with your friends as well. And if you want some help and you wanna join America's Mastermind for Smart Mortgage Professionals and have a community behind you supporting you to generate consumer direct leads, to add 10 referral partners in 90 days, and to have the simplest database marketing plan in America. We're doing all that inside the Legion of Loan Officers. Check us out, legionofloanofficers.com. We'll see you on the next video.